Good evening, Samoa. The recent COVID-19 update as of 2 p.m. yesterday afternoon confirmed 164 new community cases, taking the number of active community cases to 2,443. 97% of these cases are in Upolu and 3% in Savai. There are 12 cases currently in the isolation wards at Mototua with mild to moderate symptoms. However, it is encouraging to note that 927 cases have recovered. As of current, the Ministry of Health have confirmed two COVID-19 related deaths. Our prayers and condolences are with the families relatives and children of the two persons who have passed away. These are known consequences of the virus given the experiences in other countries. In fact, due to the transmissibility of the COVID-19 virus, many people will be infected and recover. A percentage of those infected will develop acute sim symptoms and will require hospital care. There will be deaths. That is why it is paramount for everyone to be fully vaccinated and continue to adhere to health preventative measures to minimize new infections. Cabinet this afternoon considered recommendations from the Disaster Advisory Committee on the next steps of our alert levels. And in view of our priorities, we shall continue to drive the vaccination programs for the eligible age groups and booster doses, which are now underway in Upolu and Savai. At the same time, important considerations should be made on how to adjust and operate under the new norm of living with COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Under these considerations, it is unavoidable to make sacrifices, adjust our national, organizational, and individual plans to do business, understand our own context, and assess our capacity to respond to the challenges ahead of us. In this connection, Cabinet has approved the shift the shift of our alert levels from level three to level two, orange, for two weeks, commencing from midnight tomorrow, 5th of April, to midnight of April 19th, 2022. Under level two, some amendments have been made to the state of emergency orders to help reduce congestion in public places, continue to drive vaccination and testing programs, and to assist in slowing down new infections. At the same time, Level 2 provides space for government ministries and corporations, private sector and civil society to operate businesses and to deliver services required for the country. These amendments include, one, opening hours for all businesses and shops uh, from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. Two, no businesses or shops to open on Sunday. Three, church services to reopen, but restricted to 30 people. Four, Funerals restricted also to 30 people. Five, other gatherings are allowed, but restricted to 15 people. Six, ferry services between Upolu and Savai to operate from Monday to Saturday under level two requirements. Seven, alcohol sale remains prohibited and eight, all schools to remain closed. 
In our hope to safeguard young children under 12 years old, especially those who have not been vaccinated, they are not allowed in public places. Other relevant details of the SOE orders under the Alert Level 2 will be communicated through government information platforms. Under Level 2, government ministries and corporations, private sector and civil society are required to implement their business continuity plans under the new norm, living with COVID-19. This includes, but is not limited to strict observance of health requirements such as wearing of facial masks, social distancing, showing of vaccination cards, undertaking COVID-19 tests, health and safety of employees and the general public that they serve. Health is wealth and it goes without saying that our health is in our hands. It remains a priority of the government and it should continue to remain our nation's responsibility at all levels. We thank you for continuing to work closely with the government and for all your prayers. God bless Samoa, so forth.